This is not a video to disagree with, this is a video that you will only see the list, and then you'll try to predict the next big thing. So, here are 5 times GNOME 3 changed how we interact with our desktop. We enter on Overview, and we open our applications on dynamic virtual desktops that we can choose from a thumbnails list. That's something first introduced in GNOME 3, and later everyone copied it, including Mac OS and Windows 10. That's also the primary way to switch Windows in GNOME, similar to Android today, but it was made 10 years ago when Android was barely a thing. Perhaps one of the most addicted things ever created. So we are on desktop, and with SuperKey we're getting on overview that we can manage our windows. From there, we can also search on application launcher, or various other stuff. It is yet unknown why this plays so sweet. Oh, and I didn't miss the hot corner. It works with pressure sensitivity, so we hit it, and everything's so super again. Very often people are complaining on shell new releases, because there isn't an API and that breaks the extensions. But that's the whole magic. Extensions are monkey patching shell original code, and that's why they can do literary everything. Oh, and bonus? Shell and extensions are written in JavaScript, which makes it very fast to develop. Also wrong? Shell can be multi-threaded even with JavaScript and solve some performance issues. Bottom line? We open our extensions app, and from there, we can do crazy lots of things, that would never be possible with any other way. So? You have this completely wrong too. GNOME 3 is by far the most customizable desktop today. And it is so easy to do too. Some dark stories say that GNOME designers don't do much, exactly to force community to contribute. And guess what? Community does contribute! It is very simple. In GNOME you can develop the worst app possible, and still looking so cute and innocent. Hi Ruman? Why my tablet pressure sensitivity doesn't work? Die, die! die! But it is still so cute, isn't it? We are on Files app, and we can just start typing, and boom! We immediately get the search results! That started on Nautilus, but then it was passed on more apps! And it works so beautifully awesome! Oh, and it works on mobile mode too! Speaking of which, GNOME is providing one of the most easy to make UX for small and big screens with the same code base. No kidding! So, that was all 5 times GNOME 3 changed the way we interact with our desktop. But all those happened 10 years ago, and now it is your duty to guess what's coming next. If you're asking me? I have not a clue. But the one thing I hope, and I wish for, is for the people in Linux communities to change. Please stop contributing to Red Hat and Canonical, and only contribute and promote community foundations like GNOME and KDE. You see? We don't need the companies, companies needs us. If we all stop reporting issues to Fedora and Ubuntu, if we all stop even talking about them, then everything will naturally move to foundations, from desktop to OS, and even to hardware. This should be the next big move of open source, power and money to the people who contribute, and not to shareholders for doing nothing. This is...